Hi everybody, now if you're a multiplayer gamer and presumably because you're watching this video and watching my channel, you, you, you are, you'll have probably had problems with lag in the past in Call of Duty, Battlefield, PUBG or the like. And the symptoms of lag are typically you'll be shooting at someone and it'll be like your bullets don't all seem to be hitting them or someone may well have shot you from around a corner um, or you might see someone skipping across the field and generally it leads to a poor multiplayer gaming experience you think oh well, what's going on why aren't my bullets hitting and stuff like that and one of the ways that you can address this is with a net doomer gaming router or a net doomer net doomer router let me just show you a quick little video of what, what it looks like so the net doomer is this this white box here. it's a very old-fashioned looking this is the r1 uh, they do with the nighthawk now as well which which is a lot posher but this, that, that's basically what it looks like um, and as you can see here we've got our uh, I think that's our old virgin uh, hub that was the, the internet was basically was coming in and feeding into the the net doomer so I was using the the virgin hub as like a modem and then using the net doomer as the router which is kind of a, a preferable way of doing it but the magic uh, or the science actually behind the net doomer is the ability to filter um, game hosts by distance and or ping and this is down to the software that's on the router I mean the router itself the R1 is just a it's a really basic wireless router um, but it's this the software that does the magic and that concept of filtering uh, servers by distance or ping is, is what re helps reduce lag so when you're playing Call of Duty, for example, and you're playing a multiplayer game, just normal multiplayer, you know, 6v6, what will happen is someone's console or PC will be the uh, will be the host, it will be the server that's running the game, and all the other PCs or consoles talk to that server, and the information goes backwards and forwards. So I've, your, your console will say, right, you fired your gun, you it sends it sends it to the console the uh, the host and the host goes the host server goes brilliant that hit Fred and that sends that back to you and back to Fred so now he's died. The problem with that is that imagine see the centre of this this is this is the sexy screen on the net doomer this is the this is the geo filter. Imagine I'm at the centre of this uh, this radar, so that's where I am. But imagine the host. Is a, say down in Italy, so I'm playing a multiplayer game, and they're the they're, they're they're down in there, so they're kind of running the game, the Call of Duty game, or, and then let's say though that um, so Gianni's running the game here, but let's say um, Silvio is also playing this game, and he's here, so the, the the host is down in by the heel of Italy, and there's another chap here, sort of where the knee of Italy would be. You can see straight away that if me if this chap and me were to fire our guns at the same time the information is going to get to the host which is down here, here at the heel, heel of Italy faster from this chap at the knee than me so what will happen is the host will register my hit after the other one and I will die and that's the problem with lag um, now you also get dedicated servers in games so for example Battlefield and PUBG will, will have dedicated servers that will be in different parts of uh, the world um, but again you can restrict ones of them so how does the NetDoomer work well the, what the NetDoomer does is as you can see with this, this screen is that I can actually say to the NetDoomer within this circle are, can connect to hosts so when I'm playing Call of Duty or PUBG or something only connect to someone within that within that circle don't connect to anybody in Italy don't collect to anybody in uh, Germany basically I just want people um, in England in fact one of the things you can do is I can tighten this distance down a lot like this so I could say right only connect to people in England and that leads to the fact that it doesn't really matter who I, where the host is they're always going to be within a few hundred miles or a few hundred kilometers of where I am and therefore I will have a good connection and uh, I won't have much lag the ping will be very low so that's a different so the idea is that the, the time it takes for my information to leave my PlayStation or Xbox or computer hit the server and come back will be will be very low and generally I will have a better gaming experience now the other thing you can do as well 
is that you can um, you can use something called ping assist and as you can see with ping assist on this I've got it set to 30 milliseconds and what that means is I can also say to what the Duma will do if I have that um, if I have that activated the net Duma will also say well look if I come across any servers that have got a ping of 30 or below I'll still connect them to you even if they're outside of this um, this circle so it could be that there's a server in France for example over here say down down by Paris somewhere um, the Axie is on like a really good internet connection and there's a ping of 25 now I still want I'd, I'd want to play on that because it's a nice fast ping and then with ping assist it will say right we'll do that as well so I'm filtering by by distance and and ping now one of the reasons you might say well why do both why, why not just do geo filtering you know by distance or why not by ping there's a couple of reasons um, the geo filter might not always get it right so there might be a really good server that's got like a 10 ping that the geo filter thinks is down in Spain for some reason but actually it's a it's 20 miles down the road from where I am so that's a very good reason to filter you know by ping as well as distance and also the other reason uh, is the fact that just because something is close to you it could be that it has very low ping so there could be some guy with a PlayStation you know in West London who's actually connected his PlayStation to his network via wireless um, and he's got a really bad connection because he's at the top of a block of flats or something like that so even though he's not that very far from from where I am it could be that there is a really long ping so what sometimes people do and this is another technique you can do with the net Duma, is you, you stick your um, uh, your geo filter out in the sea because obviously there's, there's no hosts there hopefully unless there's a ship but you leave the ping assist on to 30 milliseconds now what will happen is that I will only ever connect to um, hosts that have a ping of 30 milliseconds or less um, so there we go so that's kind of how it works and it generally works very very well I can remember actually I got my when did I get my I got my net doom actually in the advanced warfare era of um, of Call of Duty and literally I turned it on set it up and the next game I had felt amazing it felt like all my bullets were hitting and things like that now generally though one thing to think about with uh, with the net doomer when it comes to the new call of duty something like modern warfare is that at the beginning of a game's lifestyle life uh, um what, what would you call it uh, yeah the beginning of its life of its um how long it's going to last there's lots of people playing it so at the moment with call of duty modern warfare that there, there'll be loads of people playing all over england which means that generally with the net doomer on or off whether you've got a net doomer or not you're going to get a fairly low ping because there's lots of people playing as you know and, and as we go, go towards christmas it'll drop and then when christmas comes around loads of people will have the uh will, will buy the game and it'll go up again and then over the next year it will slowly drop off so often you find you have the biggest increase in um lag reduction sort of after Christmas and sort of uh, you know Easter time and, and stuff like that but it still does work now and in fact at the moment I'm doing this big test where I'm playing like 80 games of Call of Duty using various uh, modes to, to ascertain the you know the difference it's making for me at the moment so that's the geo filter with ping assist you know it's really really cool stuff but let's have a look at some of the other stuff in in the upgrade so we've now got this dashboard which gives us kind of um the health status of our network the router itself how much ram it's got in um, the cpu that it's using um, we mentioned the geo filter in fact what i'll do with the geo filter just so you can kind of see it in action i've set up my playstation with uh, multiplayer on so i'm just going to click find game and you'll see all the hosts pop up all over western europe probably here we go there we go, dunk, ba bump. There we go. <laughs> so it's search for all these hosts, and again, it'll only let me play. Well, that one there, that, that's fairly close. Um, actually, that one there probably because it's got a ping less than thirty milliseconds. So there we go. How cool is that? Right, let me quickly. So, so that's basically how that works. Now, quality of service. This is another thing you can do with the NetDoomer, which is really clever, because obviously. 
one of the problems with uh, multiplayer gaming is that, that um, you're using the internet in your house, but there might be lots of other people in the house who uh, want to use the internet as well. And if you use the NetDuma as your router for everybody else, you can massage and shape the amount of bandwidth that everybody gets. So what you do, first thing you do is you kind of set a cap on the maximum um, amount of upload and download data that people use, so around about 80%. Um, and this gives you the, the spare, if you like, that you can, you can then allocate to different people. And there, here you can see, so I've just got it set up, so it's got my PlayStation, my Xbox, and my PC. But then what I could do is I could say, well, actually, I want my PlayStation to have priority. So I could do something like that, and that's going to give 82% of the bandwidth to my PlayStation. Or I could do it any, you know, any way I wanted to to do that. Now, it will always um, allocate the spare bandwidth across the network anyway. Um, but if you've got a house where people, say, are streaming stuff and downloading stuff, this can be um, uh, very useful. And then you have traffic prioritization as well. Um, and this is where the packets that are coming from specific programs or devices will get priority through the router. And in this case, it's NetDuma OS cla uh, Classified Games, which will be Call of Duty, Battlefield, PUBG, and things like that. We've then got the Device Manager, which is pretty cool. Um, so as you can see, so there's the modem where it comes into our house. It goes over a wide area network, which is basically a power line adapter into the NetDuma and then through a local area network, in other words, wires, it goes out to my Xbox, my PC, and my PlayStation. And you can click on individual things and you can kind of check them out like that, which is cool. Um, network monitor, so this is where you can actually see what's going on in your network. once it calms down a little bit so you've got upload download and who's using what um, it does have a special a hybrid VPN which I've never used but the idea of this is that when you're streaming games say to Twitch or YouTube and things like that you can prevent denial of service attacks and then we've got system information which is a bit like the dashboard from what I remember yeah so there it is so there's the kind of dashboard giving you some logs um, of stuff so there we go, that's the new Duma OS update on the uh, R1 gaming router. Um, very exciting, I will probably finish the testing on all these games over the next couple of days and I'll upload a video about that, so look out for that on the channel. Um, but if you do experience lag um, on game, on multiplayer games, then um, maybe have a look at NetDuma, have a look at the R1, have a look at the Nighthawk, um, and decide, you know, it's not cheap, you know, this is not a cheap device, but if you think about the number of hours that you spend playing these games and the amount of money you spend on these games, I definitely uh, would recommend it, especially to Call of Duty players. Um, players of games that use peer-to-peer -peer, um, server, server settings. With things like PUBG and Battlefield that use dedicated servers, you don't get quite as much as an advantage because at the end of the day, the servers are where the servers are, and you'll find that generally they'll always try and connect you to, to the nearest server and for example with Battlefield 5 now I think all the servers are in Germany I don't think there is any British servers anymore so the NetDuma can't really help me with that it can make sure, sure I only connect to the German servers and not say for example the American servers um, but it probably isn't going to make that much difference in terms of lag but on Call of Duty and games that use peer-to-peer -peer, absolutely it can make a massive difference Anyway, that's enough from me. Put your questions and comments down below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much, and I will see you again soon.